Uh, this time I'm going to search for a case. And I'll show you how you can file into a case by searching. So I'm just going to enter a case number I know off the top of my head. And here it comes there at the bottom. I'm going to click the link to the case. And while we're here, I'm going to show you a little bit what our case view looks like for all of our cases on our portal. Um, on this summary page here, you're going to be able to see the case filing date and the title, what the underlying action is. This is a rent action and the amount of claim. You will see the parties associated with the action, as well as any attorneys or judges who are assigned to the case. If there were any past or future hearings, you would see them here in the event panel. On the second tab here, you will see an inventory of all of the documents on the case. Now, I'm logged in right now as a user who did not create this case. So I don't have the access to the document images. This will mirror what you would see as a registered public user. You will see the date something is filed and what it is and what the status is. So I know that this summons is filed and was filed via the portal, um, but I won't see the content of it. The user who will always see the image is the attorney. And that's what that service fee, that account access fee is paying for, is the unlimited document access. If this were a case I had filed, I would always have the documents. So that is the primary difference we wanted to illustrate between the two accounts. 